Hello, 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 beautiful people of the world. Welcome back to the Happy Conversation Idea Show, the number one happiness, career, and lifestyle podcast in the world. Here you can learn and flourish with the thoughts, ideas, and the stories of the happiest and the most successful people in the world. I am Happy Bins, your happiness host and certified lifestyle and career coach. Have you ever thought, why would you like to dance? Why would you love to dance? why we admire brilliant dancers of the world and why dance plays a significant role in our life. In this powerful episode, you will learn the secret and untold story of the world-class and award-winning choreographer and dancer. This episode is proudly sponsored by our special guest, Sandeep Soparkar. Coming up. The family is a, are the roots of your life. True. You know, I a agree. tree can, when you have a tree, the tree has its fruits and its things, flowers. True. Now, all that, are, all that is success. All that are your people outside, your movies, your awards are the fruits of your life. True. But your family and your dear friend are the roots of your life. Wow. If your wow. roots are not strong, the tree will not stand. So true. I the, agree. A tree without fruits is fine. But a tree without its roots is not fine. What a saying. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to note it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? In... As we know, India is one culturally rich country where almost every state has its language, cuisine and dance forms. When it comes to dancing, India has traditional, classical and folk dance styles which are unique. In the arena of professional choreographer, dancers and actor, today I am honored to introduce you the humble maestro, the unique personality who successfully worked and trained superstars of the Indian, Bollywood, and international celebrities. My dashing and super talented friend, Sandeep Soparkar, is a world-class choreographer, dancer, actor, and the brand ambassador for humanitarian causes. In 2004, Queen Elizabeth of England and the Prince of Wales wrote personal letter of appreciation to Sandeep for promoting ballroom and Latin American dance culture in India. He has been honored and published his outstanding achievements in dozens of Indian and international magazines. Madonna chose Sandeep to be the Indian face and the brand ambassador of a prominent American NGO, the Miracle Foundation, from 2008 to 2009. Tens of thousands of students of the various centers of the Sandeep Soparkar's ballroom studio, past and present, very rightly regard Sandeep as their dance guru. Amazing! Sandeep is a trained and qualified ballroom dance teacher. Even after receiving hundreds of awards, to Sandeep, dancing is life and the way of how and the reason to live. All right, let's welcome my friend, the dashing choreographer, Mr. Sandeep Soparkar. Welcome to the Happy Conversation Idea Show. Thank you so much for your time, your your generosity to to share and empower the world. Sandeep, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. It's wonderful being on your show, Happy. And I'm seeing you again after a long time, which feels absolutely wonderful. And thank you for this great introduction. Oh my goodness. Thanks. It's an honor. I, I wish I had a, one hour to just speak only your introduction, but I think that's not possible <laughs> because you have done you have done so much for the world and for yourself and community. It's remarkable. I But I have to shrink it and just make it less so that it looks profound. But people can just but go coming on. Coming from your... a friend like you, I think that's what is most important. Thank you. My pleasure and honor. I have learned a lot from you. No doubt on that. All right. Let's dive in and just start with that. L- please tell us, why and how you got the clarity to choose your extremely successful dancing career and business path? I think I would give this entire credit to one of my ex-bosses. In fact, nowadays she is living in Canada. Oh, wow. My name is Sheetal, Sheetal Pinto. Wow. And when I was working with her in a company <clears throat> called Perfect Relations, mm-hmm. you know, I always wanted to dance. I had done my dancing course, my dancing education, but you know, there's some way... I think especially the Indian mentality, especially middle class mentality is that a man should always take up a job. Yeah. <laughs> a, 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 and a woman can be in the house, but a man should take up a job and, and a job which gives him a salary at the end of the month, you know. Yeah. So, um, I was always nervous, not too sure whether dance can give me an income that I can sustain myself and later on my family if that's going to come in. So, it was somewhere you were, I was always um, 
you know, not sure of what's going to happen to me if I took up dance as a profession. Yes. But it was all thanks to Sheetal Pinto. And she told me, you know what, Sandeep, you are so much in love with your art. Why don't you just go and give it a shot and try to do what you want to do? Okay. And I promise you, if you feel you're not succeeding in what you're doing, mm -hmm. this job will always be open for you. Nice. Yeah. I think wow. that assurity that she gave me, okay. that lady is magical. I'm still in touch with her. It's been some 30 years now. Wow. I haven't worked in her company again after that. <laughs> but I think that assurity that she gave me, that whenever you want Sandeep, you can come back to this job and I will always be there for you. I think that gave me the confidence to go ahead and do what I wanted to do Fantastic. and break that whole stereotype of man needs a salary job at the end of the month kind of a thing. True. And I'm happy I took that step and I'm till today always thankful and grateful to her okay. that she gave me the confidence and the power to do it. That was one lady. Mm -hmm. and the second I would say definitely is my family. Okay. Because when I told them this desire of mine to, you know, pursue my, my passion and not sure of what I'm going to bring at the end of the month, uh, <laughs> they said that, don't worry, uh, I think you should try. Give it yourself some time. My mother was the one who told me that give yourself two years mm -hmm. and see how you do in these two years. If you think you are happy, it's not about the money. You know, sometimes less money also makes you happy. So true. So it's so if you are if if you're going to be happy in what you're doing, then we are with you. Wow. I think these two people, my family and Sheetal Pinto, because they yeah. told me, they gave me the confidence in myself, which I did not have, honestly. Okay. In spite of all the dancing, I did not have the confidence in my own self. But they gave me this the financial confidence. And I think because of which I could do what I wanted to do. And I'm absolutely happy I did it. Wow, fantastic. So two foundation, two great pillars. You were inspired to start your career. And you trusted their intelligence. You had hope and faith in them too. And of course, in yourself. And you pursued. So this is remarkable. It's very rare uh, coming back from the wonderful Indian Bharat background. And then you chose to go out of the way, something to do uniquely to prove that it's, uh, it's it can be, it is possible to do the men to involve in such kind of career and business path. I'm so glad. Thank you so much. And world didn't know this in untold story. So they will be delighted. To know <laughs> <that>. <laughs> Good. So uh, please tell us, is this, now you've been over probably 25, 30 years, you've been in this career and business. Now, is dancing career path is more challenging or rewarding? Oh, uh, I would say challenging. Okay. How? Why? Because see, rewards keep coming and going. And I honestly speaking, don't care about them so much. Okay. What's important is you have to challenge yourself the most every time. Wow. How good you were in your previous show and how good you're going to be in your current show and how better you can get in the next show. Yes. That's that's something is challenging you all the time. Okay. And as an as an artist, as a dancer, you're evolving. Your mind is changing, your body is changing, uh, the, your environment is changing, the world has changed in the past 30 years, you know, today's social media and all that, which was never there before. Mm -hmm. So how do you keep yourself at it as an artist? It's yes. an absolutely challenging job. And you okay. have to be on your toes, literally on your toes, not just dancing, but otherwise on your toes all the time to understand how challenging you can be and how you can meet up to your challenges. Fantastic. Rewards, awards, prizes, recognition, articles in newspapers, whatever, whatever, whatever we talk about today. I think it comes part and parcel of that work that you do. Okay. Fantastic. If you don't have the sincerity, if you don't keep pushing yourself and evolving yourself, I don't think the awards and recognition will come your way. Fantastic. Well said that, you know, challenges, uh, keep improving yourself since what you were yesterday and do the best beyond that, what you were yesterday. And that results and rewarding is the, I believe the effect, not the cause. I think the cause is your challenging and improvement. And the effect is by default, you get rewards and awards and all that. Yeah. Kind of and thing. honestly speaking, you know, happy if it comes to me, it's good. If it doesn't come, it doesn't really matter. And That's I think to now I've reached a stage where it doesn't even make a difference someone criticizes or someone appreciates. <laughs> because as, a, as an artist, we do what we want to do. Agreed. We create what we want to create because Agreed. we feel it's right. Fantastic. And, if there are, and today in media, social media, you will have, uh, if you have a million likes, you'll have a million dislikes as well. True. So it doesn't really matter <laughs> what it is. If you feel you're good at it and you are happy with it, I think that's what's important. No, so true. Thanks for sharing your uh, genuine and positive thoughts on that too. Now tell us, you have done wonderful work with the actor as well. Now, 
one of the time uh, in in your journey while choreographing the world's most beautiful and talented actress uh Aishwarya Rai Bachchan and then Vivek Oberoi and handsome and hung uh, Rithik Roshan what were you feeling at that time while choreographing and working with them well i remember with aishwarya rai when i first met her i was like oh my god that's a beauty and actually she is absolutely stunning and then she came and told me that you know um, i she had done a couple of other uh, work before and she said that um, don't give me difficult steps don't give me this way <laughs> so like you are such a beautiful dancer i can give you whatever i want to give so i think the <laughs> I realize the nervousness from both sides. Okay. You know, because as an as an artist from for her she needs to be absolutely bang on what she's doing. Sure. And then if if something goes little haywire it's going to be her that's going to be at stake her 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 mm -hmm. uh, credibility at stake. Sure. So I think everybody is trying to give the best best possible. I'm trying to give the best moves possible to her. and she's trying to make it as best as possible so if something very complicated she's saying please don't give me so like you know i need to give justice to it and we, the, for that song of mine for the movie kyu ho gaya na with her yes. my time was very less i just had like two days rehearsal and three days of shooting mm -hmm. so it she said in case it's tough then i'll have to give you more time for rehearsal and i don't think we have time for rehearsal so i think it was more calculative move in a way that it should look out come out nice and i think okay. that was everybody's idea fantastic and i'm glad the song came out nice it was it was yeah. her it was her first smooch on screen and yeah. i'm so glad to say that it was my song that she smooched in ah. <laughs> but it it was it was wonderful to work with an artist yeah. like her she's absolutely not just stunning as a person yes but beautiful as a human being and True. the best part about working with her was the way she took care of the dancers i think that was nice. most important you realize a person an artist not by the way they are Yes. on screen but the way they are off screen i agree strongly agree so, on that so you know the dancers behind who are dancing with you taking care of them i think that's what makes you a wonderful person wow such a humble um, humanity cause and definitely what you just say is not on screen off screen too does it matter now quickly can you share about the handsome and hung dancer too rithik roshan because he's a He's the macho man. He's the most handsome guy in the world. And Absolutely. how about his experience with that? And his dancing, I think there is no one in the world who can be better than him. Oh, indeed. He is. In fact, when I have to work with him, I am most nervous because I have done so much work with him. I did Kite, I did Britannia Ad, I did the HRX launch. So a lot of work I've done with him. So whenever I get a call from from his company to do a, a work for him. I'm like oh my god now how should I make the previous one you know this better. one better than the previous one <laughs> so <laughs> it's it's more stressful for for all of us my entire company and my assistants and my dancers to do better than what we did in the previous one yes and he will just come and cut 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 finish he is like there and done with and ah. we work for it for so many more hours and so many more days and he will just come and within minutes he will just get it like that Wow. He's like butter, like butter, like just goes like that. It's amazing Mastro. to teach someone like him. Excellent. No, you know, he challenges your choreography. He challenges every move. You can shoot him from every angle. He looks absolutely perfect. So now you just enjoy an artist like that because he, there is there are no flaws in the artist. Great, such a glorious moment. I, I, indeed, if I would be just your assistant to just stand behind and watch all these <laughs> incredible things. When I was doing modeling and acting, I was uh, fortunate and lucky enough to do one of the commercial ads for Hero Honda with Rithik Roshan. Okay, so it was a very long shot, and for the Hero Honda, and he was doing uh, the whole series, and I was one of the part I played in that. I just jump on my bike and. i go to my work with my friend and then he was passing by from his own so it's all it's a long story so i had wonderful opportunity to work with him oh, wow uh, fantastic well thanks for yeah, sharing this yeah he's amazing he's amazing indeed it is um uh, if i'll come in india definitely i'll say hello to him with you <laughs> okay so tell us sure. about my pleasure thanks sandeep among all the dozens of dignified indian and global film and tv awards As the first Indian dance choreographer represented on Cannes red carpet, how were your feelings and experience at the Cannes? Please tell us. Oh, it was beautiful, magical feeling. Hundred years of cinema, hundred years of Bollywood being celebrated at the Cannes Film Festival, and they asked me to be there as the only choreographer representing our choreographer association. Wow! It was 
a prestigious moment for me because I was taking care of all the choreographers who were who were, who were back here in India, and I was their their, their voice. Mm-hmm. And I think it was a lot of responsibility on me. And I had a talk there in front of all these amazing international press and directors and producers, talking about the importance of of dancing in Indian films. Yes, and every film of ours is a musical. True. Every film is a song and dance, and how important a dance sequence is in a film to make it or break it. Yes, and how important it is for our artists to be good dancers. And so Great. these were my topics of discussion, and I was so thrilled that I had some brilliant people uh, attending my my talk, and we were celebrating hundred years of cinema, and wow. I was there, uh, you know, as the fl- flag bearer, the torch bearer of mm. of all the choreographers. It just feel it felt absolutely amazing. Not just 2013, but I was also then 14. Then after that, in 16 and 17, so four times I went to Cannes. Wow! And it's a amazing feeling to be in the market of um, you know of, of real. Actually, it's a film market. True. To be in the film market, representing my country, and uh, speaking about the importance of dance in our films. Fantastic. This is phenomenal and glorious time. And then you got the honor to be the first one to go there. I can feel that the pressure, but the prestigious yeah. moment that you want to balance and you want to give the best, uh, not the story, but the authenticity about the the one of the oldest country, Bharat, which is which comes from the dance and all the singing and act too. So, wow, you did. I remember fantastic. in 2017 when I was there, we had a very interesting talk also okay. where we spoke about changing trends of dance in our country. Okay. So right from the first film, Raja Harish Chandra, where the dancing was very, very uh, different mm-hmm. to moving into the folk dances, the classical dances, which we used to have a lot before. And then, you know, moving to disco and to break dance and all the era, how it changed. It is. Then Helen, Helen Auntie was doing yes. cabaret. Then Shami Kapoor was doing cha 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 and twist and rock and roll, and uh, there was so much of different types of genres of dancing which our film has also shown. Yes. To today, when it is showing a lot of hip hop and all that, so how the uh, how the scene of dance has changed and how dance choreographers like us have brought an international element into into the into the Indian cinema. Yes. And it was a great session, and I think Cannes has accepted uh, that Bollywood is a very <clears throat> integral part of the festival as well. Fantastic. Not just through the red carpets, but even through the films that we bring in. So I think it's very interesting to be there. Fantastic. Thanks for sharing this inside moment, which we didn't know about that, apart from your gorgeous red carpet pitches. But thanks for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Well, tell us about how do you achieve a balance between your relationship and external success? Well, I think it's very important to come back home and be grounded. Yeah. I think my parents, my kids are the ones who uh, who, who give me that. Okay. Because I remember even when I come back from my, if I'm bringing an award and I'm back home, no one cares I've come back with an award. <laughs> they <are> like, <laughs> they come back okay, you. keep it in the cupboard. Keep it in the cupboard. You know, it's like, it's okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I think it's it's just, uh, that's what makes me grounded. I think that's what makes me uh, do what I want to do and not give so much importance to it because nobody in my house is giving importance to it. Okay. So it's just right. simple thing. Get up in the morning, go for your work, come back and sleep. Wow, you know, fantastic. There are no parties, there are no, uh, I don't drink, I don't smoke. So it's just like, a, just, I'm a very boring man, <laughs> except dancing. <laughs> so I think, I think it, that's what kind of keeps it going because that's the balance. Thank you. You know, you, I, you still, I still have to get up and make some food for my kids. I still have to take them to school, drop them to school, you know, take them shopping somewhere. There is no life like a star one should lead in your house because you're hey. a star outside. Fantastic. Your work makes you star. But your family doesn't make you a star. Your family keeps you in, inside grounded. I think that's what's important. So let, don't ever bring your stardom into the house. I love that. This because is being it humbling. It never yeah. works. It well, never works. Yeah. Stardom can work outside. But yeah. with your own people, you must not show them your stardom because they have seen you grow. They have seen you become a star. So you can't show them a, a different color. You have to show them the true colors. Exactly. Uh, what a wonderful saying, Yak. You know, the stars in the universe cannot just be and tell I'm the universe. The universe itself has the whole galaxy inside and making the star more wonderful. So what I a think philosophy. the roots are, as a family is a, are the roots of your life. True. You know, I a agree. tree can, when you have a tree, the tree has its fruits and its things, flowers. True. Now, all that, are, all that is success. All that are your people outside, your movies, your awards are the fruits of your life. 
True. But your family and your dear friend are the roots of your life. Wow. If your wow. roots are not strong, the tree will not stand. So true. I agree. The, a tree without fruits is fine, but a tree without its roots is not fine. What a saying. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to note it. <laughs> <laughs> you you know what in this answer you have already answered my next three question which was I was about to ask about that you don't smoke and drink and all and then you're yeah, very boring man very, very boring, boring man no worries but you but but Sandeep don't forget you're very inspiring for the young generation who doesn't want to lead the path of drugs and and smoke and other addictive things so you're very inspiring so don't forget about you know to me honestly somebody <laughs> asked me this question the other day what about drugs? drugs because you know it kind of keeps your mind completely free of things oh, no, i think my okay. dance is my drug my dance is my drug the okay. high i feel when i dance yes i'm i can write and give it in and in, in, in uh, on rock that yep. no drug addict will get that high the way my dance gives me my high Fantastic. i don't need i don't need a cocaine a heroin whatever weed whatever 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 is <laughs> happening today in the market i don't need any of that because wow. my dance is my heroin my dance is my weed my dance is my cocaine wow. that's the high i get when i dance and i don't require all this rubbish in life fantastic what a wonderful uh, dedicated passionate towards your career i think each and every one is like that and they are doing that's fantastic inspiration thanks so much for sharing that uh, sandeep now coming back to please share about what essential advice can you give to the uh, existing or aspiring dancer to achieve financial independence now a lot of time there are a lot of great act uh, dancers they might not think they want to do make their career for making money and all of course to survive in your learning of over 3 decades what advice can you give to have a financial independence in a dancing career you know what happens the uh, the the money that comes into a dancing career is not a constant money Wow. So it comes to you in pieces. Sometimes there's more, sometimes there's less. You know, it's it's not a it's not like end of the month salary. Okay. So you have to be very smart enough that when you get good money, don't splurge over things. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Suddenly, if I get a big show and I have big money, okay, let me go spend it here. No, oh. you have to be smart enough to keep money for your rainy day for your rainy days. So okay. invest your money smartly. Don't splurge into things. And this is a show business. And sometimes you feel, oh, I need to buy an expensive car. Yeah. Well, you don't need to buy an expensive car because I think car is just a car. Car. So somewhere you need to uh, understand where to draw the line. True. And you need to keep money for your uh, days when you will not have probably go uh, good money coming in. True. We also have seasonal work sometimes. Yes. So the, the, the times when the rains, we don't have so much work. When the other days we have more, like now during um, November to February, we have our weddings to do. True. After that, we have some shoots. We'll start. So every time there's different types of work. Yes. So you need to be careful and keep your money saved in a way that you might right. need it the days when you don't have work or the days yes. when the work is low. Okay. So okay. you have to be smart enough to invest. That's a great advice, and I think it's very practical and sensible in early stage that you. It is not when you have enough money you start saving. It is that when when you don't have money and you get into the habit of saving. I like that. Thank you so yeah. much for sharing. Now, while doing all this challenging part and rewarding and teaching and all. how do you plan and maintain high energy and your mental well being i think dance does the trick to be honest okay. okay dance is magical it will heal you in ways you will not even know about okay it will it will uplift you in a way that you will not even understand what happened to you the day your mood is bad or you feel low about something just put the music on and just dance it doesn't matter what dance form you do you can do any rubbish that you want to do it will automatically uplift your mood your it will enhance your mental stability it gives you everything dance is not about 1 2 3 4 or moving your body in up and down manner dance is a complete change of personality okay. dance will unveil your personality in a way that you will not even realize it so to me when you ask me any question about mental health i'll say dance physical health i'll say dance It's like I have one answer to everything, which is dancing, and I think it's 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 like one of those medicines which you take, and it's overall healing medicine. Okay, fantastic. It gives you personality, it gives you posture, it gives you great health, it gives you well-being, it gives you everything. It gives you money now, so it gives you everything possible. And uh, an art does not really mean uh, only dancing. It can be music, it can be True. singing, it can be anything that you like. And if you make art a part of your life. 
Okay, fantastic. Well, thanks you will, sir. you will, you will never have any problem at all. I love that philosophy. Thanks for sharing, Sandeep. Now, how do you? you no, know, there is a very, yeah. very famous Sanskrit shloka. I don't please know if say. I can say it on your, on your show. No, no, please. It's, it's, it it's says, a, "Go ahead." Sahit Sangeet Amrit Kala Vihin Sakshat Pashu Puch Vishan Hin, which means a person without Sahit Sangeet Amrit Kala, mm-hmm. which is your literature, music, um, singing, and dancing. If you, if these three, if these four things are not a part of your life, you are like an animal without horns. Wow! Wow! Without a tail. So I think uh, you need to have these four things a part of your life because if you have, that's the real person going to be. Fantastic! Thanks for sharing. Definitely, the audience is going to be very delighted with your, this golden nugget, and it's it's very inspiring. Thanks for uh, Sandeep for sharing. Now, how do you acquire the wisdom? and the advanced skills that you needed to live a legendary lifestyle i think education is very important okay a good education is extremely important and there are so many dancers who feel that oh we should just dance and studies is not important i feel an education makes a better dancer okay so if i go back and look at my thing yes i did my dancing i did my course in different different levels of my dance as well and my traveling helped me to help me to uh, achieve that too but my when i did my hotel management to, it taught me hospitality yeah. today i have to deal with different people because of my dance school i have so many students coming to me different age group different size different shape different profession different age groups everything so it is my hotel management which has helped me to deal with them because that taught me hospitality yes i will talk about my mba my mba taught me how to market my own dance school how to market my own self market my own business of dancing market my today social media courses you get to do so you can make your reels and your photographs and so there's so many more things Fantastic. then I did my, and i did my 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 doctorate so it was in world mythology <coughs> sorry so it taught me to create my shows because i'm now mixing different cultures together with greek mythology and so much more True. so i think education plays a very important role for a dancer fantastic thanks for sharing reading, oh, reading studying is a very important part of it and the second one i think is to travel i agree strongly agree. don't just travel to just travel do your show and get out <laughs> but travel to understand different cultures different ways people are living agree. different uh, different different costumes music different dances because finally when you create something for yourself as an artist agree it should be something which is global and not something which is very very you know to remain to your own 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 place that artist develops who has got great education who can yes. bring out the education and who is globally very well um, aware of what's aware happening of thank you so much i strongly believe and i strongly agree with that the most important skill i think school college universities fail to teach us it comes the in my learning and teaching as an a uh, uh, certified career and lifestyle coach i do people skills communication skills time management and money skills are the most profound thing especially first two the people Absolutely. skills and communication skill will put people on a higher bracket of success Absolutely. it doesn't it doesn't need any formal education for that it comes from within while traveling while meeting people and culture and so on you said well thanks now tell us about related to this uh, piggyback this question again what is the highest value of your actions towards time and money wise what's the highest value of my action yeah towards your time and money wise what you in a daily routine work you 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 take action but definitely you have a 24 hours and right. definitely have certain amount of your finance how do you plan that like towards the time and money wise what principle or strategy you, you know use? i think my parents always taught me the money is secondary okay first most important are people I agree strongly okay. agree so you must not hurt anyone at all to climb up the ladder what a profound so money will come money will go good work is very important so for me if you have given me choice between time and money yeah i would say it is time so how would you plan because it? because because i would if i'm not making anything today is fine with me but for me my giving my time to my own art to my own classes to my own students to my own creativity is most important mm-hmm. if money if money comes that for, for that good if it doesn't it will come tomorrow because i know my work will be good fantastic so for me time is very important money uh, has always been secondary to me 
Fantastic. Thanks for sharing that, uh, Sandeep. Now, tell us, how do you teach others to sharpen up their focus on dancing as being a world-class choreographer, but specifically on that area <laughs> I'm saying, <laughs> of course, <laughs> I know that's a generous laugh. How do you teach others to sharpen up their focus on dancing special, specifically? It's a very difficult job, to be honest. I agree. To, I think uh, it's very important for the person to realize themselves how important it is to give your art that kind of dedication that's required. Mm -hmm. You know, as a, as a teacher, as a choreographer, we're not magicians. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can't, you can't just come to us and we'll make you a dancer. Yeah, okay. We can, we can show you something. 50% is our job. The remaining 50% has to come from you. So as a, as, a, as a student, if you're coming to me or an artist, you come to me and I've trained something for you, your dedication is as important as mine. Exactly. So I would, don't have a magic wand to put around your head and say you become a dancer now. So you have the, the, the dedication, the determination, the willpower to do something is important, which unfortunately today yeah. I see very less in today's people. I agree. Today in the world of Instagram, wow. the kids who come to me to class, but their attention span is just 15, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. So they're not focused. And, they, and they, they're coming and saying, uh, what today, what are you teaching us new? <laughs> well, how much of old do you remember? You remember. And how, I, much I of, like and how much of old is, 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 is cleaned up? That's also important. True, I agree. Like, like no, we tell, no, mostly people say, uh, you know, practice till you get it right. Right? But I don't agree to that. I think practice till you don't get it wrong. I agree. It That's has profound. a lot of dif different way of looking at it. So it's not about, oh, I did it. Now what's new? No. You, how well have you done it? You close your eyes. You should still get it right. Mm -hmm. And that is, that's the level of practice required Focusing for dancing. On that. That's very profound. And that's unfortunately, <coughs> today's generation, I don't see it happening. It's okay. so disappointing that young dancers today can't, uh, you know, give that focus but a similar kind of very rarely we find one dancer who is wanting to give their life to it so otherwise you, today mm -hmm. they are spending more time on <laughs> looking into other people's lives yeah and not into your own life those so it, four hours that you are looking into instagram or somebody else's life yeah give yourself those four hours i think it will help you now that's very profound being smart being wiser to invest in yourself so that you don't need to go and struggle in your own absolutely age, you know? yeah i agree i i i not only agree but i intellectually and emotionally understand that what this where it is heading unless they're checking instagram who are the best dancer what choreography they're doing how can i learn from their dance and implement in my life and empower that's a good investment investment but that's, that's them, a good investment into it but most of them are not doing that not they're just that, looking yeah. at uh, someone you else know, uh, <laughs> other stars and just looking at naked women and that's yeah. what is happening <laughs> <laughs> i know no i agree but but this is saddening but then again your valid point is there you have given a very wise advice that invest in yourself to do what you wanted to do in the line of a field great now please Absolutely. tell us thanks sandeep um do you get inspired by teaching dance to the celebrity or they get inspired by your teaching skill? <laughs> you should ask them that. <laughs> well, well I, I, it's, it's not about celebrity. getting inspired by them. <laughs> it's not about getting inspired by, by anybody. I think uh, as, as an artist, all of us, whether it be the star or us, we both look forward to working with each other because the thing that we're going to bring to the table. Okay. So as a choreographer, I bring my creativity. I bring the way I'm going to present the dancing or the way I'm going to turn out the music to look like. Mm -hmm. That's my job. And the artist's job is to give the best of what I'm saying, what I, what I want to bring out. And exactly. of course, suggest what they want to suggest as well. So nobody's really inspired by anyone. I think what we just want to do is we, we are working together towards a certain goal of yeah. making one product look great. And we just do that. Fantastic. I love that profound and straight answer. Now, being in this industry for over two, three decades, <coughs> and this is a very important question, one of the important questions that, what is your prediction of dancing career in coming year? 
<laughs> you are asking very tough questions uh, and today you know i'm in a very not a very happy mood <laughs> <laughs> but you know what the, your you, each single minute each single word and paragraph and your wisdom will inspire globally more than 7 billion people probably my show is uh, allowed to more than 400 million people are eligible to listen so that many lives can be changed so i know your valuable answer is very important i know i feel today's social media world we are wasting a lot of time mm mm-hmm. on screen a lot of time is being wasted just go back 10 years when there was no facebook and there was no instagram what did we do we read books we went yeah. out with friends we we did not google hang out we uh, you know hang we went together. actually went out we together. went out with our <laughs> friends we, yes we invested time in our own relationships in our own people in our own selves yeah and today we are just wasting in our time Okay. looking into other people's lives you know earlier also we did we did our surveys of checking of, of what somebody else is doing but the ways of checking in were different yes uh but today it's you know it's it's just peeping into people's lives and there okay. are so many more distractions as well which are available to us so yeah. if i have to look at the if the way it's going on i would say the dancers the quality good quality dancing is going to be filtered very badly a okay. person who probably is capable of reaching to a certain level might not reach a certain level mm-hmm. because the level of dedication has come down okay. and on secondly i think because we watch so many more things happening our self confidence is going down i agree so we are you know so it's very important that we should restrict the time on 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 social media we should rest- we should make a time table for ourselves give 4 hours to social media no problem but give time to yourself Okay. because as an artist especially as an artist you will only be able to create if you spend time with yourself i agree you so have that. to look within to bring something out well said that something lord shiva out. had three eyes mhm two eyes okay. were looking outside and one was looking inside wow it was not closed when your eyes are closed during meditation what yeah. do we do we look inside I agree what profound answer right? yes so that one eye of his which is the most powerful eye of his was looking inside great how many of us today are looking inside that's the question we are only looking outside <laughs> we are only looking outside <laughs> and deep outside yeah so, so that part is is very important thanks thanks for sharing this very phenomenal and very profound uh, thought you know there that. is this uh, sa- i'm again coming back no, to sanskrit no. i don't know how many of you no, no. understand no no we will show. definitely our audience is indian and bharat audience too bharatiya log bhi sun rahe hamara show boliye aap you know there is um, we used to always say once upon a time karagre vaste lakshmi mm-hmm. kar madhe saraswati mm-hmm. kar mule tu govinda yeah. prabhate kar darshanam yeah. which means on the tip of our fingers is lakshmi that is where it comes and goes yeah, yeah? karagre vaste lakshmi kar madhe saraswati this is saraswati mm-hmm. and the, the the root of all is govinda which is krishna okay yes when we come together and we pray yeah. is when we pray to the universe wow. but today karagre vaste whatsapp <laughs> kar kar madhye instagram <laughs> kar mule to facebook Okay you cannot do namaste with these three four things it will never work for you in life wow what a profound here is my salute to you if i would be close to you i would have shake your hand and hug you properly and wisdomly <laughs> such a wonderful <laughs> answer like i wish uh, this is show is not only just for listening and people can watch what he just said so they can <coughs> get inspired and in that too now thanks for sharing this profound answer i'm really touched honestly uh, which other stars do you want to work again or you are wishing or hoping or planning to work with a new star that you wanted to work international well i have worked i have worked with rekha ji okay and i would would love to work with her again because okay. she i think is absolutely brilliant Indeed. so it was a film my first film called zubeda yes. which i had co-raft uh, um, karishma kapoor manoj bajpai and rekha ji mm-hmm. and uh, i have never got a chance to co-raft her again and i hope i do wow. but i think she will just make ballroom dancing take it to another level completely fantastic with her uh with her uh you know the way she is i think it will be absolutely amazing fantastic and you just said that i'm not that so profound i do understand i have speak nine languages including one is sanskrit too but uh, not so fluent 
बोलते हैं ना सरस्वती माता आपके जुबान पे हमेशा रहती है लेकिन एक दिन में अगर आप बोलोगे कि आपकी मनोकामना पूरी हो तो दिस विल बी डन आई से इट इन इंग्लिश अगेन फॉर माय अदर ऑडियंस एवरी डे वट एवर वी स्पीक विथ आर पॉजिटिव टंग एंड वंस at least one wish comes true so i i say that your this wish will come true sir thank you so much thank you thank you <laughs> okay bye sandeep this was the first round it was phenomenal for your golden nuggets your thoughts ideas and story was wonderful let's jump to our second round it's called make the world happy round and your fast and rapid okay. fire answers <laughs> are rock and roll i don't say i'm scared for... now I'm nervous too <laughs> <laughs> i know it's late there but this round will wake you up now again to give you jump out okay. of the bed okay what does success means to you oh to me success means uh, love of my own people fantastic what does happiness means to you a uh, dancing is happiness to me love day what does failure means to you if dancing my failures away is failures mean to me ah wow okay just Sandeep, dance it out dance it out you got legs feet dance it come on the floor yeah. <laughs> like that okay you have to choose one sandeep okay you have to choose one i'm there what would you like to have more in your life love sex money or fame uh honestly love but right now sex <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that is that is very generous and profound answer. You are the first one of the first celebrity on the show that has spoken so boldly, which is nothing wrong. That human was designed yeah. to have opposite sex partner or same doesn't matter. We live in that world. So okay, amen to that. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Next, um, do you believe in working harder, smarter, or faster? Harder. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Now, do you also take dancing lessons from other any one person, or you just create your own steps? Well, I still sometimes do when I travel outside. I do yes because okay. I feel I want to understand some culture. Okay. Then I to do the understand culture. I have to learn from from them. So I do that as well. Yes, definitely. Fantastic. Now I know the the setting of your studio and your room is not that appropriate, but still I know you're the genius dancer. Can you just make some dance move for our audience? Maybe a little bit half of the one. <laughs> let's <laughs> do on. it together. Let's do it together. Together? Okay, let's, let's do, do it okay. together. Half yeah. now. Okay, teach so me this. So I'm going to I'm going to take these few lines from this very famous poetry. Okay. Of Gopal Das Neeraj ji. Okay. Uh he's a very famous Indian poet. Okay. Who said dukh mein nacho, sukh mein nacho. That is dance in your happiness, dance in your sadness. Okay. Dukh mein nacho which is okay. sadness. Okay. And sukh mein nacho. Okay. Jeevan hai tata thayare which yeah. is beats. Life is like beats, okay? So we'll do that. Okay. These sure. lines. Okay. So I'll we'll follow do. you. Dukh mein nacho. Dukh mein nacho. Sukh mein nacho. Sukh mein nacho. ये लाइक हैप्पी है सुख में नाचो सुख में नाचो जीवन है ताता थैयारे जीवन है ताता थैयारे कौन रे जाने कब उड़ जाए कौन जाने कब उड़ जाए सांसों की सोन चिड़ैया रे सांसों की सोन चिड़ैया रे ये वी हैव लर्न समथिंग आई स्पेशली आई हैव लर्न समथिंग आई वांट टू रिपीट दैट आई एम गोना राइट डाउन एंड आई एम गोना मेक माय वन ऑफ माय डेली मैंट्रा दुख में नाचो सुख में नाचो सुख में नाचो जीवन है ताता तैयार रे कौन रे जाने कब उड़ जाए सांसों की सोन चिड़ैया रे वी डोंट नो व्हेन आवर लाइफ इज गोइंग टू गो अवे We don't know that. Like it happened during COVID times. Yes, we yeah. lost so many people. We did not know what's going to happen. So, so just dance away. You never know when you're going to go away. I love that song. I have another quick song I want to share with my audience. Uh, it's in Hindi too, definitely. One of my two favorite songs. I usually say, "Dunia mein rehna hai to kam kar pyare, aaj aur sab ko salam kar pyare. Par na ye dunia jine hi degi, jine nahi degi." Ah, love it, yeah. And another one is I would like to share for this is for you. I'm dedicating, especially in the opening. You just said that very profound. Guru ki na kalo ki, dunia hai dilwal ki. I want to say about our audience. This is a Hindi song, but what I was just singing is this world is of not of black people or white people or somewhere in between. This world is of the people who have a golden and ocean heart, the love, the heart of love. 
this world is run by them and you are one of those smart celebrity my friend sandeep thank you thank you so much thank okay, you okay let's jump quickly we we continue on this one so um what do you value more about daily goals or daily happiness acts daily happiness acts for sure oh, i love it passionate answer i'm on the same path okay what is the language of the dance well the dance has no language okay all right dance is no dance language. has just no language that is why everybody understands it because there's no language fantastic i like that profound answer okay what is your favorite dance style which you find sexy romantic yet classic very tough question you asking me now uh, <laughs> okay you can give it. I, okay okay it's tough okay. to answer now let me think i think rumba rumba okay which is a cuban cuba cuban dance of love it's the most sexiest at the same time romantic yep and uh, i think it's got a great body language and that's going to be the probably that's the one okay you i think you have already answered my next question but i was still not disappoint my latin one so my next question is bollywood or latin dance uh i can't answer this both both i <laughs> both. knew i knew you are answering answer both <laughs> i knew you were going if to probably say you asked me this 30 years back i would have said latin okay but now since i have been working in in the, in the in the cinema for so many years and mixing both dances together bringing them on on cellulite yes. i think it's both for sure fantastic thanks as you're so generous you cannot disappoint your global audience i know that okay what dance challenge would you love to take what dance challenge i would love to take i think to learn something new and i keep taking it all the time fantastic. so whenever i travel i do take up the challenge every time i go because each country i visited i have tried to learn something from there and i think that's what uh, i always tell myself take up a dance challenge i love that and i really want to say almost we are close to the show now but i really appreciate your energy at this late hour you so passionate to give your answer people don't know that <laughs> middle of a night in india somewhere this <laughs> sandeep is there in canada we are coming to the wrapping this question but again few more questions coming here now you are happy dancer alone or with a partner uh depends on the mood actually okay um nowadays uh, alone okay all right but i okay. think uh, but i think uh, with a partner the pleasure that you have is doubled up i love it uh, so uh, right now i am alone so it's just uh, okay one level down one level down okay <laughs> cool. okay what what are the basic requirement to become the best dancer quickly basic requirement is high amount of focus okay all right i would agree that most important okay focus is most important you must not let your mind Just go hey wire and today's today's world is very easy to get hey wire i know we just talk thanks so much for sharing who is your favorite indian and international dancer indian i would say priyanka chopra okay and i think she's gone international now so maybe she goes and comes in both categories <laughs> but the other one i other one i would say is madonna i think she's absolutely brilliant as a dancer mm -hmm. and as a singer as well la is la bonita absolutely <laughs> okay i love it all that too fantastic okay which is your global celebrity actor or actresses would you love to dance i would like to dance with i would say i think somebody i have already done work with was britney spears and i think it was great to work with her and i would love to work with her again fantastic i love that thing name any star you find very joyful or challenging to teach dance Oh uh, well joyful i would say uh, kajol okay the bollywood actress kajol i think she's absolutely a fun delight to teach because she's very bubbly and lively and the class also she is that way okay and um, the other one you ask is a difficult time to teach <laughs> i would say the toughest time i had was to teach manoj bajpai okay. when i did uh, when i did zubeda and okay. today he says the same thing you're the only last just i met him a couple of weeks back and he said the same thing you're the only man who made me dance sandeep and it was a tough job for me I, and i admit that uh because it was probably my first song as well so i was also learning how to do it and it was for him to dance for the first time so it was difficult for him to <laughs> so it was difficult to smile or watch by okay all right we'll take that one as consideration now what was the happiest moment of your dancing one of the one Oh, I think all my shows are my happiest moment. When I'm on stage with a spotlight on me, I think that's the happiest moment for me. Okay, can you recollect all, all of, of it? All of it. Now go, let's go contrast. What was the most embarrassing moment you faced while dancing? 
Uh, well, uh, it was for a show uh, called Namami Gange with Hema Malini. Ji, I have been doing. It's still going on the show. It was one of my first shows which I did with her. And um, I'm normally as a dancer, I don't wear, I don't expose my body. But for this show of hers, she had asked me to wear a very short little uh, dress because I was uh, playing the role of Shiva, and it was in a, you know. A little thing around his waist, okay. and I was so conscious because I was showing my legs, I was showing my body, and I was like, "Oh my God!" I was like exposed fully, <laughs> so it was it was a little embarrassing for me because I was never so used to dancing, uh, almost half naked, and uh, I was doing that, so it was a little embarrassing for me. Plus, I was lifting my legs up and dancing because that's what the tanda was supposed to be—the Indian dance form tanda, which Lord Shiva does. And I was lifting my legs up, and I was like, "Oh my God!" And it was cold winters in in Lucknow, and I was freezing, and, and half nude wow. and dancing with my legs up. <laughs> so it was pretty embarrassing for me that moment. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now, how do you flirt while dancing, or you get flirt? Do you think? I think the body language dance does it. So the. There is, uh, it's a, it's an act we prepare. It's not in reality you flirt. Okay. It's just the body flirts, the eyes flirt, the body language flirts, okay. and the music adds a value to it. Maybe it's yeah. not your heart that's flirting. It's just uh, the reaction of what you're doing. Such an intelligent answer. Such a, creatively you put it in that. Maybe I'll ask some other day. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Okay. Now, your temple of prosperity is. Of course, dancing. My answer okay. to everything is my dance. Okay, it is. Okay. It's a temple of everything. Okay. Everything. Now, fantastic. Now, being a, being a world class choreographer and all, you meet hundreds and thousands of new students and all. This question will lead to that. How can someone quickly decide if they wanted to be a dancer or not? Well, it's a calling. You just have to close your eyes and think: Do you want to do it or not? Because whatever your heart says is always right. Though it is on the left, but it's always right. Okay. Fantastic. Now this question is uh, we're going to ask few imagination question. Okay, then we will wrap up our okay. show. Okay, this is imagination okay. question. Okay, now <laughs> this is imagine Sandeep during the film award shows, you are sitting in the front row, and during that show you want to badly you want to do pee, and you are heading towards the washroom, but all of a sudden the host says, and the best world class dance choreographer is Sandeep. What will you do? <laughs> well, I will go to the loo. <laughs> sure, <laughs> because I can't be going up on stage and then then just saying, "Oh, sorry, I need to just go to the loo." So I would rather go to the loo first. <laughs> okay, all right. It's so okay. The award show can wait. Award show can wait. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> amazing question. Amazing answer. Okay, now this is also imagination question. Quickly, imagine Sandeep. If God makes you a woman for a day. What will you do more of and less of? Well, I'll create some magical dance piece uh, uh, about women, which I mm. have in mind. I don't know how to do it. I think being in the woman's body, you might might be able to imagine it better. Okay. That is one. And what I will not do is uh, I will not stand and stand and pee. So it'll be easy for me in so many ways. <laughs> What a profound, intelligent answer! I'm, I'm, in, I'm in already inspired with your answer. I wish this show was for three, eight, ten hours. Okay. <laughs> Now, okay. This is last imagination question. Then few more, and then we wrap up. Okay. Imagine, Sandeep, if you would be the host of this show, and if I would be the guest of the show, what question would you would have asked me? Well, I would have actually. I, have, I think I've asked this question to you before when we've been talking. Your name is Happy. Yes. And um, <clears throat> what made you choose the name Happy? Well, this is a very profound and touching. I know you have a wonderful smile and you have great <laughs> dimples, and so that is everybody makes I mean, when you people look at you, they are always happy. But why the name Happy for yourself? Um, it's a very touchy, but I'll tell you in short. Uh, this wonderful, uh, glorious, and Happiest name was given by my mother, uh, and when I was three and a half year old, she committed suicide. So I realized that uh, my parents told me that your mom gave me the name Happy. I said why, but she said when I was born, I was out of womb. For a few moments, I didn't cry. So the okay. home I was I was born in home, not in a hospital. And then the 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 home nurse she said to my mom, your baby was a pleasant. And I have to spank him to make sure that he has a voice. 
So after that spanking, I started crying. But the the nurse told my mom that your baby was a pleasant. She said, "Huh, interesting." So it was a happy baby. She said, "I want to keep his name happy." He came very、How、pleasant. How sweet. He came to the world very pleasant, not crying, but very not smiling also, but very pleasant. So she said, "I want to keep his name happy." And then since then, I never wanted to change. I know it's a nickname, but I I kept using this name because it has given me joy, love, and all the best thing in my life. So I wanted to share happiness, and that is why one of my show name and many other ventures I've done, especially this show name is called the Happy Conversation. Happy conversation. Happy best. But thoughts. Ideas and the story of the happiest people. I'm not saying millionaire, billionaire, writer, dancer. Absolutely, happiest people means you being such a wonderful celebrity, you achieve enormous amount of success, but you are happy. And all this happiest. I think the I think the happiness is what makes you a billionaire. Yes, I agree strongly with that. But yes, that's yeah, my reason. The smile brings a billionaire. My mom has given me name. It's prestigious gift to me. Wonderful. And I want to live each day, each moment as the happiest person can and must live that. And I'm living that. Happy and happier with the way you are. Thank God you, bless、sir. you. Cool. Now I want to ask you this question. I want you to answer in two ways: Hindi and English, both. Okay. What does okay. Bharat mean to you? Bharat is the.、Um, I was born here. यहाँ मेरी पैदाइश हुई है. तो ये मेरा मेरा देश है. इस देश ने मुझे सब कुछ दिया है मेरी कला से लेकर के मुझे मुझे रिस्पेक्ट जो मिला है जितना सब कुछ मिला है मुझे एवरीथिंग माय कंट्री हैज गिवन मी बी मनी नेम फेम वॉट एवर माई चिल्ड्रन माई फैमिली एवरीथिंग इज योर सो माय कंट्री मीन्स एवरीथिंग टू मी और दूसरी बात ये कि मैं जो मेरे पेरेंट्स हैं मेरे माँ बाप माँ बाप हैं वो आर्मी के बैकग्राउंड से हैं फौजी बैकग्राउंड से हैं तो उसके उसके लिए मेरे लिए मेरे देश के और मायने रखता है बिकॉज आई बिन ग्रोन अप इन अ फैमिली विच इज अबाउट All about、um, the, looking after the country. My great grandfather was the, was the doctor to Mahatma Gandhi.、Wow. So we have been brought up in such a patriotic manner. So desh bhakti jo hai, wo to puri hamare ghar mein hai. So you ask me a question, which is, I am what I am only because of my country. Fantastic. Thanks.、Uh, just to let you I know, I think、why. I mix both the languages into it. No, good. <laughs>、like、That's good.、Said. Yeah. No. So I, I also wanted to make it easy for my other audience to around the world. That Bharat means India is the only country have three names. Bharat was the original name till today. We said Bharat Vasi means Bharat, and then it was Hindustan in the time of the Mughals. And then when the British came in, they kept India. In my opinion, if I can be wrong, please correct me. So Bharat, Hindustan, and India is the name of the same country, India. So that was absolutely. I、yeah. you know. And as artists, what Bharat means to us? Please tell、so、us. Bharat is Bharat is a mix of three words. Okay. Bha, Ra, and Ta. Okay. Which is Bhav, Rag, and Tal. Okay. So Indians are very emotional. That is why Bhav is very important. Bhavnae is very important. Emotions are very important.、Mm-hmm. Rag because we are musical. Music. Every part of our life we have music. Be it birth or death, there is music. Yes. Marriage, divorces, there is music. There is music in every part of our life. Celebration through music. And taller means dancing.、Mm-hmm. So we dance on every occasion. Wow!、That's、dance for every festival.、Okay. So how emotionally attached with music and dancing makes Indians. Why? Therefore, we say Bharat, Bhav, Rag, and Tal together. धन्यवाद बहुत बहुत कोटि धन्यवाद संदीप जी आपका ये तो मुझे भी नहीं पता था लेकिन आपने आज मुझे शिक्षा दी है नो सिंसेरली आई डिड नो अबाउट दिस बट आई एम गोइंग टू एजुकेट माय सेल्फ मोर यू आर सच अ आई डिड यू नो इट वाज माय ड्रीम दैट यू आर ऑन द शो यू हैव शेयर्ड सो मच ऑफ प्रोफाउंड थिंग दैट आई वुड हैव नेवर लर्नड अबाउट इट इन माय अदर ऑडियंस हु डिडंट नो अबाउट नाउ सेकंड वन सेकंड वन इज आल्सो वेरी क्लोज टू वन क्विकली ऑन टू से व्हाट डज अमची मुंबई मींस टू यू मींस व्हाट डज बॉम्बे और मुंबई मींस टू यू Especially Amchi Mumbai. You know, I I think Bombay for me or Mumbai to me is my karma bhumi. Okay. So we have come something called a Janma Bhumi, the place where you were born. Okay. So I was born in the center of India, which is Bhopal, which is Madhya Pradesh. Yes. And、uh, Mumbai to me is my karma bhumi, the place where I'm getting my my work. Okay. It all started here in Mumbai. Fantastic. So you might be born anywhere in the world; does not matter. Yeah. But the city that gives you everything is your city. Somebody asked me where are you from? I always say I'm from Bombay. Yeah. Because not because I'm not because I was born here. Because this is the place that gave me everything. So I'm a Mumbaiite. I might be here just about thirty years. Yeah. But I have spent more time here than what I've spent anywhere in the world. So、Fantastic. this is my place. 
Now, we, I don't want to discourage my audience. Quickly, want to add on that. What does Mother Earth mean to you? Ah, Mother Earth to me is is not just my country, but even my countrymen. Yeah. So it's it's uh, like when I my father was telling me once that in the army, what's first most important to you is your country and your countrymen. Okay. Then comes your family and everyone else. Okay. So when you say uh, when you say what what does my motherland mean to me? So my motherland means to me my to my own people. That is why when I create my dances, yeah. I create my dances to awaken my own people. Fantastic. So that is what is important. So if somewhere someone someone is sleeping, I yeah. want to wake them up through my dance because they are my priority. Fantastic. Thanks for sharing that. Now, <clears throat> what is the message to the beautiful people of the world? Aha! Uh-huh. The message to the beautiful people in the world is that please make art, not just dance, and art a part of your life. because dance or music or singing or gardening or swimming or anything which is a part of art will always flourish you in a manner that you will not realize it will enhance you illuminate you in so many different ways that you will be a completely different person once you embrace an art form so please embrace art form in any possible way and see how your life changes that's a profound answer and last now tell us How did you like this happy conversation idea show? And what is your takeaway? It's always from amazing talking to you, Happy. <laughs> Be it over over Zoom like this or whenever we met in person, you are such a positive person. You are such a happy person. So your name, what your mom gave you, was absolutely bang on right because you bring in such great vibes into the room that you walk into. And I'm even today when you're not in the same room with me, but you're with me virtually. I feel so happy and excited to be talking to you. Thank you for having me on your show and all the very best to you for spreading this great happiness all over the world. Thank you so so much Sandeep. You're my wonderful dear friend. I know you for over decades and all, but it's an honor and pleasure that you have shared your thoughts, ideas and stories. of the happiest people and the happiest person is you and we are so delighted and we need many more Sandeeps in our every city, every community and every country on mother earth that keeps inspiring and keep empowering to the world and to the young generation and all and in in between when you just said that when young generation are focused on texting and all that thing we do agree on that but i also hope people will take in a consideration a positive way that we need to focus on our art or focus on our career what it serves us to become the happiest person and i want to say sincerely thanks so much for your wonderful answers thoughts ideas and story and thank you so much my dear friend thank you thank you thank you tight hugs tight hugs there too thank you for watching or listening anywhere on mother earth i believed you loved the happy conversation idea show as i and sandeep did and i admire and learned so many things from sandeep and i would like to know your take away what are the things you will apply or loved about it you are welcome to share on the social media anywhere where you like and if you think that it can change someone's life and improve someone's life you are happy to share on social media what is that one question would you like to ask sandeep or me so please leave the comment below and i will happily answer them here is the happiness prescription for your mental chewing diet to become a successful person before you do something you must be something Sandeep has become something and his attitude towards the world is excellent and he has achieved enormous amount of success in his personal and professional life. Do you know if the world treats you excellently or badly? If your answer is quick yes, then your attitude is excellent. If your answer is no, your attitude is bad. And if you have a trouble deciding, your attitude is average. The magical and most important word on the earth is attitude successful people come in all ages shapes size and color but they all have one thing in common the winning attitude we determine our attitude we live in a world of words no matter what something happen to be we have a word for it and some word means a great deal to us words such as love success happiness achievement joy purpose attitude What is your winning attitude? What is your winning purpose? What is your winning in your career and lifestyle mean to you? Please leave the comment below. I am Happy Bens, your happiness host, career and lifestyle coach. If you want to come on my show as a special guest and share your thoughts, ideas and story, 
or your product or service, please click the link below or visit my website, www.happybins.com. Please stay healthy and happy always. Thank you.